simply look at this braid guys what gorgeous guys and got happy guys and got muslim guy now hi boy guys okay and kish and kish and kish because wow Hello and welcome to the channel. I am Pillow IZM and on today's video we are doing a high ponytail. So let's get started. Gonna need some water first. Okay. And then I'm going to rub that water in. And then next I'm going to use some Eco Styling Gel. A generous amount going to spread that pretty much all over my hair I am now going to brush my hair into a bun shape using this hairbrush I took some hair from the center I'm now brushing that hair together this is just going to help um, the bun look more straight right take a bit of hair stretch it and bring it up and then i take the hairbrush and i brush that in now for the hair in the front first i stretch it and then i hold it and take it to the rest of the hair that's in a bun and then i brush so there it is now I'm taking an elastic band and I'm just going to tie my hair up. So now I'm going to use the Styling Dreads Molding Gel Wax and I'm going to apply it on the outside. Here is my Molding Gel Wax. I like to mix, <gasps> to mix it with the Eco Styling Gel. Place that there, see, two of them together. And then mix like this. And then it will look something like this. So right now it has more movement um, compared to when it was only the Styling Dreads Molding Gel Wax and it's not as white as it was when it was just the mold, Styling Dreads Molding Gel Wax alone. Okay, so now let's apply this. Can you see the difference already? I hope so. Now we're going to use this type of brush, okay? And notice how as I am brushing, I follow it with my hand like this. So doing that helps it lay better. So if you're really looking for that laid, laid, with your natural hair, try doing that, okay? It's a recommendation. <laughs> so now I'm going to remove that elastic band which I had put on because now I want to brush everything together quickly before the hair spreads like crazy. And then I can quickly hold everything together because the hair is spreading like crazy. But now we're making it tighter than the first time. There it is. So using my silk scarf, I'm just going to cover that up so that it lays down nicely and flat. And while we're waiting for that, let's do the braid. Now for the braid, we're going to be using Hair by Jamaica. It comes in the color two. You can use any braiding hair of your choice. I'm just showing you guys the hair that I used, but feel free to use any type of braiding hair that you like or that you prefer, okay? Um, I brought the camera down because we are going to be using this to help us with creating the, the braid, okay? Sila. 
and then i'm just going to fluff the hair so fluffing the hair is to make sure that the ends are not blunt and straight that's why we do this so when you fluff you basically just pull the ends to make them uneven a bit you want it to look like this instead of it looking like this Okay, so this is what it now looks like. Now I'm just trying to straighten out the hair because when you fluff it out, um, it does tend to bulge up. So this is the side I worked on first. I'm letting it go now. I'm coming onto the other side. It's just to make sure that the other side is also fluffed out how I want it to. Okay. Now I'm holding the hair at the center, right, there it is, but I want it to be slightly longer than this because the braid style we're going to do is going to make it short. So how am I going to do that? I'm just going to pull it on both sides. Oh, it's not going to show on camera. Cha! You can all see how long it is now, but I want it to be longer than this. So I am going to hold both ends like this and then slightly pull on each side gently. So this is how long it now is. So it's about this much longer than it, what it was previously yeah okay i'm now going to tie it in the center using the elastic band that it came in so here's our rubber put the rubber around and then open it up like this and then try to get the braiding hair into that space just loop it Because I don't have someone to hold the braiding hair for me while I do this, that's why I'm doing it like this. Now I'm taking out a small piece on the side that I'm going to use to wrap around the braid when I'm attaching it onto my own um, ponytail. So I'm just going to twist that and place it on the side. Because I don't want it to distract me while I'm doing this braid, I'm wrapping it around here. I'm just going to attach this on before I begin braiding the hair. So I start by dividing this hair into three. Okay, I now have three equal pieces. Now I hold my three and I begin to braid. I'm going to brush it as I'm braiding because I can see it is tangling like crazy. About to mess up this whole thing. Now that I'm here, I'm going to use one of these rubber bands to tie it. I think I'm going to use two just for security reasons. In case one pops, the other one must still be intact. So it's the braid and then it's tied here. Take another two of these elastic bands. And then over here is where I'm going to tie them. Now that I have this, I am going to pull it like that. So I'm just going to try and shape this until it gives me a nice bubble that I'm happy with. 
Okay, I'm going to make a second bubble in the same way as the first one. Two elastic bands. <gasps> they both snapped. Hush, hush. And my bubble was taking shape. I think they look equal. I hope they look equal. And guys, what do you think? I think they look equal. I I mean, it's giving right now. It, it's promising. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, and this remaining part, I'm going to braid it again. okay okay the rubber bands are obviously not working as demonstrated here so we're going to use this okay I bind. so i'm going to take this string and tie it where this elastic band fell off Here it is. I mean, how cute. How cute is this? Okay, it's like one hour later now. I think my hair is laid down and the sun is out. So I am chasing this sunlight because what? Girl. So here is the hair that we were laying. Look at that. Nicely laid. Like. Let me give you a 360. Do you all see that? Guys. Ooh. Same thing. Here. here is our braid. I also added some of that string here at the back because it just it just looked like it needed something more. Okay, so I must try and attach it from the front so that the braid can flip over my own little bun here. Okay, there, it's not well secured, but I think I'm just going to put on some bobby pins. Before I put in the second bobby pin, I just want to wrap it around with this hair. So before I wrap this hair around, I'm just going to comb it. I'm just going to wrap this around. And as I'm wrapping, I keep combing it because I want that wrap around to be smooth. And this hair, which I'm using to wrap, must also hide my own natural hair at the back here, over here, because that's where my little bun is hidden. I see some flyaway hairs here, so I'm going to use my got to be glued and spray it onto the hair that I'm wrapping with. So cold. And I'm just going to spray it now until I'm done. And there you have it. I was swimming my door the same thing. Same thing. Look at this braid, guys. What a gorgeous. Just look at it. Little bun, where? Where is my natural hair? Nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen. And the sun is participating. Even with load shedding, I came through today because. Every time I try to film at night, the load shedding is load shedding. So I just decided, let me do it during the day. And look at the result. Hmm? Hmm? I am so hyped right now. Yo, 
thank you so much for watching i hope you liked this video i hope you subscribed and please just leave a comment to say something what do you think of this hairstyle is it giving is it doing what it's supposed to be doing do you like it are you gonna try it are you gonna recommend it to someone are you gonna share this video with someone hmm? let me know in the comment section i hope to see you on my next video bye